Today we're here at Castlewick Vineyards on the Snake River, about 20 miles upstream from the Columbia. This is just an absolutely gorgeous area. Slopes down to the river, facing southwest. Yeah, if I was a grape, I'd want to live here. Another view looking back towards uh, the Tri-Cities there. Snake River Valley, very rocky terroir, they had to hand tire all these, and carve them out with a uh, pick and shovel. This is the Syrah block right here. There's Eric down there, oh and he's got our wine. Tassawick is named for the Tassawick Indians. Uh, they're a member of the Palouse tribe, a group of the Palouse tribe. And apparently Lewis and Clark stopped in along here as well and may have actually capsized their boat. Well, this is just really, really beautiful this morning. Uh, the, the fresh clusters on the vines and you can see the terroir in the background. Uh, this is really, really cool. We're going to drink some really, really good wine soon. Hi, I'm Dan from MyDrinkYourWine.com. We're out here today on the banks of the Snake River at Tasselwick Vineyards with Eric Dahl, Sarah Brogy, uh, the owners. Uh, this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous terraced vineyard. Um, man, you couldn't ask for a nicer site. You want to go ahead and tell us a little bit about that, Eric? Yeah, so we're in the lower Snake River, about uh, 20 miles from where the river meets the Columbia, uh, upriver. And, uh, we planted a vineyard in uh, 2003. Uh, we have Merlot, Cabernet, Sangiovese, Syrah, and a little bit of Unai. And uh, it's just a beautiful uh, textbook vineyard site. Southwest exposure, um, uh, good air drainage, uh, good water drainage. Um, so we get we get the sun, we get the heat units, uh, and we get a moderating influence from the river, which is about 350 feet below us. Okay. Um, just been really lucky and blessed with a good site. Yeah, I, I can tell. Just the, they always say that the best wine grows in the best view, and boy, this is one of the best I've seen. <laughs> Sarah, I understand this was uh, uh, some of the land that belonged to your family that was not really uh, being utilized for anything. Yeah, right. This um, this particular stretch on that below the bluffs is uh, my family is into apples and cherries, and and this not a good site for that. However, it did turn out to be an excellent site for a vineyard. Um, we have a nice airflow drainage on the slope. Um, we get a lot of heat coming off the bluffs above. Uh, in the summer, it's between 100, as high as up to uh, 115 degrees. Um, the, it's a really rocky uh, site, especially here in the Syrah block. Um, so much so that we had to uh, have the crews come in with shovels and hand carve the terraces um, in this block. Uh, further further down the way we're going to have another 50 acres that starting probably next spring we'll, we'll plant some additional uh, vineyard and what's unique about that uh, site um, is that there's natural what they call fingers and each each one that we've had geologists study is, is different from the next so we're not going to disrupt the natural landscape at all we're going to utilize those two uh, and, and plant variety specific to each finger each site. Wow. So that's some exciting things down the way. Sure, and that'll give you a multiple terroir to deal with and to exactly. use for blending. And right. Wow, how nice. That's that's a great feature. Yeah. Wow, good for you. Well, I know you guys are really well known for your red blends, and obviously we're drinking one today. Uh, do you want to address that a little bit there, Eric? Yeah, so this is what we're drinking today. It's our uh, 2005 Merlot. Uh, we are, uh, it seems like we are getting well known for our Merlot and also for our blends. We just got a double gold in the West Coast wine competition for our uh, reserve blend. Nice. Uh, so we're really happy about that. Yeah. Uh, other, other people like it too. <laughs> um, I guess what characterizes our wines is, uh, you know, nice deep color, um, beautiful nose, uh, both across the board on the Cab Merlot, Sangiovese, Syrah and uh, silky smooth tannins, which makes it really a nice drinkable wine uh, uh, while it still has the structure and backbone to, to really be a high quality wine that can go with a lot of foods as well. Okay, well let's have a little taste here. I'm, I'm loving the color, it's a deep plum. It's just gorgeous. And it, Oh yes, and it does have that nose. Oh boy, I'm a big fan of that for sure. Mm. Uh, 
good breakfast. Oh yeah, silky smooth. <laughs> breakfast of champions here, huh? <laughs> well, I can't think of a better place to spend a, a morning like this. Uh, with this gorgeous view, and this wonderful, uh, it has that, this old world feel to it with the terraces and going down to the river. It's just, just gorgeous. Um, and I'm loving the Marilog too, so. Uh, <laughs> I want to thank you guys for hosting me out here today. Uh, it's been a really great morning. Uh, I got a, it's, it's been a really uh, an honor to have an opportunity to take a look at this vineyard and, and to see uh, your future plans. I'm looking forward to coming back here when you get that all planted here. Oh, yeah. And we'll do this again. Yeah. Sounds good. Thanks like, for coming out. You're yeah. welcome back anytime. Hey, thank you. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm Dan from MyDrinkYourWine.com. Uh, we're here at the Tasselwick Vineyards with uh, Eric Dahl and Sarah Brogy. Um, and again, remember, if you're buying, I'm drinking. <laughs> Cheers. 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 <laughs>